what's on guys welcome back to another video this week i'm changing the oil just been to Alfred and picked up four liters of oil so that's four oil changes and some petrol so i'm going for a ride here at some point but let's get back to the shed and crack on with the oil change Start the bike up for 30 seconds and let it warm through. Let the oil warm up so it flows out a bit easier. My bike takes a 14 millimeter socket, an extension bar, a ratchet, and you also need a container to catch your oil. I know mine's uh, less than a litre, and this is a thousand millimeter, so it fills up to about there, but that's ideal, really. So I'm going to start by cracking it off. And now I'm just going to proceed to finish it off with my fingers. And then I'm going to have this here ready. Three, two, one. That oil's not even warm to be fair, but hey, we got it out. I'm not going to complain. Look at the level of shit on top of that. That is absolutely shocking. I've got some blue roll here. I'm just gonna give the top of this a clean up because it's absolutely covered in uh, little bits of metal. As you can see, it's magnetic there now. <laughs> At least I know that's doing its job though, because all that would be circulating around the engine. As far as I'm aware, this bike doesn't have a um, oil filter, let's say. This is the next best thing in my opinion and I'll give it a squirt off with carb cleaner and I hope to get rid of some of these last bits that I can't quite get. It's worth investing in one of these because you can keep your clean oil separate from your dirty oil and get a more accurate measurement and this makes it a lot easier for putting it in your engine. But on this side it's got all the measurements um, so this goes up to a litre and my bike takes somewhere between eight and nine, 800, 900 milliliters. So I'll probably go somewhere in the region of one US court or something, or whatever this says. But we'll work our way up to it on the dipstick and see when it's full. Now, as you can probably see, it's just under a court there, so that's going to be the start. I run Castrol Power One. I've always run it. I've never had a problem with it, and I like these big containers because you pay eleven pounds for a little container like this from Halfords, or you pay twenty twenty nine something, I think it is, for this. So you basically get an oil change for free. So it's a no brainer, really. I'm just tilting the bike up so anything that was over on its side, whilst it was on its side, it gets a chance to try and run out. I am on a slight slope here, so sitting backwards, but it shouldn't make too much of a difference because the engine's reasonably level. So now we're going to add this fresh oil to the bike through the oil, well, dipstick and oil inlet. 
and this is ideal because you just tip it like that and now you've got pressure wheel going straight in the hole. Now, just wipe off any excess oil that come off because that will just attract dirt and you don't want that there. And now, there's a little bit of oil in there still. With a dry dipstick, we'll just drop it in there and bring it back out. As you can see, got plenty of oil in there. Now we'll start the bike back up and let the engine flow and then see what the oil levels on the front square come around the engine. As you can see, got the perfect level of oil there. Ideal. And that, guys, is how to do an oil change. Hope you've enjoyed. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything is much appreciated. And we'll catch you next week. Hello, boys.